Dr. Rhonda Patrick here. I'm going to explain to you how magnesium, an essential mineral that 56% of the U.S. population is deficient in, can help you maximize your mitochondria and enhance exercise performance. High intensity interval training has been shown to enhance exercise performance in both athletes and non-athletes. One important way in which this is achieved is by increasing oxidative capacity, which is the ability of your muscle cells to consume oxygen. Now, oxidative capacity not only depends on the availability of oxygen, which is what most people tend to focus on, but it also critically relies on your mitochondria, which are the tiny units inside of your muscle cells that are actually consuming oxygen to produce ATP, which is the energetic currency of the cell. And this is really important. You want your ATP production to exceed your ATP consumption in order to enhance or maximize your performance and avoid muscle fatigue. At the level of the mitochondria, there are two ways in which you can increase your oxidative capacity. One is by increasing the total number of mitochondria, and two is by increasing the efficiency of your already existing mitochondria. Studies have shown that just one session of high-intensity interval training results in the production of new mitochondria, thereby increasing the total number of mitochondria per muscle cell. But in order to make new mitochondria, this requires your existing mitochondria to copy their genome, and this is done by enzymes that require magnesium as a cofactor. The magnesium ion sits inside of the enzyme and activates it so that it can do its job. What this means is that if your magnesium levels are low, then you're going to have a difficult time making new mitochondria during exercise, therefore compromising your performance. The second way you can maximize your mitochondria is by making your existing mitochondria more efficient at producing ATP. It is well known that during exercise, oxidative stress damages your mitochondria and dampens their ability to produce ATP but your mitochondria have the ability to repair this damage using the same magnesium-dependent enzymes that I just mentioned. The bottom line is you want to make sure your magnesium levels are within the adequate range in order to maximize your mitochondria by A, the ability to produce new mitochondria, and B, making your existing mitochondria more efficient at repairing damage. So in conclusion, I highly recommend you get your magnesium levels tested, and when in doubt, Increase your consumption of dark green leafy vegetables such as spinach and kale or almonds, which are all high in magnesium. I'm Dr. Rhonda Patrick, and I'll catch you next time.